بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایم ڈاکٹر محمد زمان اشرف آئی گیٹ ٹو یو آر ان بیسک آرگینک کیمسٹری ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از ہیلو ہائیڈرن فارمیشن آئی ول ڈسکس واٹ از ہیلو ہائیڈرن اینڈ دین دا ریئیکشن وچ انوالوس دی فارمیشن آف دیز ہیلو ہائیڈرن اینڈ دین سم ایگزامپلس وچ ایکسپلین دا ہیلو ہائیڈرن فارمیشن and I will discuss the detailed mechanism of hydrohydrin formation. So uh, let's uh, start with the hydrohydrin uh, formation first. Uh, I will discuss what is uh, hydrohydrin. So hydrohydrin, uh, as the name indicates, uh, it is actually uh, an uh, alcohol which possess uh, the hydrogen at adjacent atom. Suppose we have a carbon and we have here hydroxyl. This is an alcohol and at adjacent uh, carbon we have any halogen. Here X, it may be a bromine or chlorine or aldine. So this is uh, halohydrin. So uh, the formation of this uh, compound is uh, starting from alkene uh, which reacts with halogen in the presence of water. So actually uh, this reaction is also explained Uh, the chemical reactivity of alkenes. The general reactions suppose we have alkenes and we have any halogen, chlorine, bromine, or iodine in the presence of water. Then we have X here and OH here. Thus we have HGO positive and X negative because this water when it reacts in the presence of this X2 when uh, then we have one of the halogen from this uh, X2 it attached with this carbon and another it is produced as X negative by combination with H uh, from water it produces HX which is an acid and it protonates another molecule of water that's why we have HCO positive. The example suppose we have ethene and it react with bromine in the presence of water then we have watch here and B here. Plus we have H3O positive and Br negative. Okay, so this is uh, chromohydrin. So in the same way, we can produce uh, chlorohydrin. Collectively, uh, uh, both these molecules they are known as uh, hydrohydrin. So keep in mind uh, that this reaction when it takes place first, this alkene it react with hydrogen Br2. So it means uh, first this X or Br it adds at carbon-carbon double bond as an electrophile. Okay. Uh, just uh, we have discussed uh, the hydrogenation of alkene uh, in case of the formation of uh, vesicular dihalides when bromine it reacts with uh, alkene. So first bromine it reacts as an electrophile and the second bromine it reacts as a, as a nucleophile. So in this case the first bromine it adds as, a, uh, as an electrophile and the intermediate which is formed is uh, an electrophilic species, it is, it is a carbocation. And then water, uh, uh, the oxygen of water being nucleophilic, it attacks and the uh, electrophilic carbon results in the formation of this uh, bromohyde. So let's uh, discuss uh, the mechanism of this reaction. So mechanism of this reaction, we have carbon-carbon uh, double bond, we have any hydrogen, maybe it is bromine. So we know that this X2, uh, due to the size of this uh, bromine uh, uh, hydrogen, we have a temporary dipole pair. And when it comes close to this carbon-carbon double bond, we, we know that these are pi electrons, and these pi electrons, they further polarize this uh, hydrogen. So here one of the halogen it possesses partial positive charge and another halogen it possesses partial negative charge. So that's why pi electrons, that is here, 
this x and the, this x adds and this carbon carbon double bond as an electrophile. We have H. X. So when this X is attached, here we have positive charge. And this is a carbocation. We know that halogen they possess lone pairs and these lone pairs they one of the lone pair attacks at this carbon which is electrophilic in nature and we have a three member uh, intermediate which is known as halonium ion because this H you know it is, it is positively charged. This is known as halonium ion. Suppose this X, if it is uh, bromine, then uh, it is known as bromonium ion, and uh, if it is chlorine, then it is chlorinium ion. So this intermediate in the second step is further attacked by what? Okay, these are and uh, any atoms, maybe hydrogen or some groups. So if water hydroxide is neutrophilic in nature, so it attacks this carbon and it leaves uh, results in the formation of this is. H positive and here we have X this X and here we have water then uh, the second second water molecule it abstract one of the hydrogen from this and we have here our final product OH and X plus H3O positive and this X negative is present here. So uh, just uh, you observe here in case of uh, when this X non uh, pair react with carbon and here we have hydronium ion, then uh, this nucleophilic hydroxide attacks at the electrophilic uh, carbon. So, uh, suppose in case uh, when we carry out halogenation of a key uh, in the uh, absence of water, uh, so are, are in the presence of some inert solvent. Suppose we have we have alkene and we have halogen in the presence of some inert solvent like chloroform or uh, uh, in the absence of water. Then we have product vesinal dihydrides. So vesinal dihydrides are formed. Then this reaction it is carried out in the absence of water or in the presence of inert solvent like chloroform. On the other hand, then same reaction it is carried out in the presence of water. So instead of vesinal dihydride, our products they are halohydrins. So halohydrin uh, formation. Uh, the entire addition of uh, this X and OH takes place at carbon carbon double bond. Just uh, uh, in case of uh, vesinal dihydride formation, the, uh, when we carry out uh, hydrogenation of a key, then both the hydrogens they add on the opposite side of carbon carbon double bonds. Suppose we have this CH2 double bond CH2, and we have bromine. So, first we have. CH2, CH2. We have this bromine, bromonium ion, and this bromonium ion is further attacked by water from opposite side of this PR. So this follows the entire addition of X and OH.
water it abstract is hydrogen. So uh, here we have uh, what? And here we have so entire addition of this halogen and uh, hydroxyl takes place at carbon carbon uh, double bond. So uh, this is uh, all about the uh, hydrohydrin introduction and hydrohydrin formation. So I, will, I have discussed its uh, mechanism. In my upcoming lecture, I will discuss the orientation of uh, hydrohydrin formation and also the stereochemistry of hydrohydrin formation. It will be discussed both. In all these examples, I have uh, selected the symmetrical alkene. But on the other hand, in case of unsymmetrical alkene, <coughs> suppose we have uh, propene, or any other unsymmetrical alkene, then uh, the uh, attachment of OH and Br it follows the extended Marconi cognomen. So it will be discussed in my upcoming lecture. Thank you.